there is hope for a better future. Watch this video to the end and be blessed in Jesus' name. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. We understand that the context in which this verse was written was addressing people who were going through hardships and sufferings. The misunderstanding that many persons have about the scripture is the idea of instant rescue from their hardships and suffering. God will not remove all your struggles and hardships completely because... As a righteous person living your life to please God, you will go through temptations and suffering. What is meant by this verse is that God has a plan to prosper you as long as you remain faithful to him and trust his timing. Sometimes while you are going through sufferings, you tend to forget that God is working all things out for your good. God will not give you the expectation of your fear or what you lost after. God will give you the expectations of your faith because without faith nothing is possible finally the main focus of this text is to build within us a sense of hope for an eternal future blessing we will not always be in captivity go through persecution attack circumstances trials and sufferings there is coming a time my friend of eternal life eternal peace everlasting joy and happiness and we will live and reign with christ forever and ever be blessed